Today is a day many are celebrating the long fight for the Alex Smith Affordability Act. The bipartisan bill passed in Minnesota back in April is intended to help those who cannot afford insulin. Last night, Pharma put a wrench in the plan ahead of the law going into effect. Our Uba Ali joins us live in the studio to explain. Uba. Yeah, good evening, Tom and Caitlin. A big win short-lived today. Last night on the eve of the bill going into effect in Minnesota, Pharma announced a lawsuit against Minnesota. It's asking the court to declare the law unconstitutional and issue a permanent injunction against enforcement. However, the mother of the late Alex Smith says she will celebrate and continue to fight. I'm using this as a symbol that this could have kept my child alive. Kept her son Alex Smith alive, who lost his life in 2017 due to rationing his insulin. He made about $40,000 a year, but he still couldn't afford the premium with a high deductible and still have to pay for his insurance. Since then, Nicole Smith Holt continues to be on the front lines fighting for those who depend on insulin, all while making sure no one else loses their life. After three long years, her hard work paid off. Minnesota passed the Alex Smith Bill Affordability Insulin Act in April and went into effect Wednesday. This law will save lives. Urgent need program makes eligible Minnesotans receive once a year a 30-day supply of insulin immediately at their pharmacy, no more than $35 copay. And then the continuing need program for eligible Minnesotans to receive up to a year's supply of insulin for no more than $50 per 90-day refill. Now a pushback from Pharma that no one expected. Last night as the news broke about the lawsuit, I was actively working to ensure people who are at risk of death were able to get the insulin that they need, while Pharma was actively finding ways to prevent access to affordable insulin. While the lawsuit is pending, Attorney General Keith Ellison tweeting, I'm defending this law in court with everything I have because no one should die because they can't afford their insulin. And even though the fight is ongoing, Minnesotans will still have a safety net. It really is important to, to get the message out to Minnesotans that if you or a family member is in dire need of insulin, this law 